you came. That seems like a really personal admission. I'm a fucking superhero. That seems like a really odd reply to that very personal admission. We are talking about orgasms, right? I'm your father, Becca. It's so awesome we're just gonna pick up right where the season finale left off. I can't wait to find out what actually occurred after. Damn it. Well, at least they'll get into it later in this episode, right? Right? Two minutes, 44 seconds, and a diabolical bloodbath of expositional previously ons. Open laptop's position. Baby kale salad. Baby kale salad. In case you confused it with Al Zabadani, Wisconsin. Exactly what casualty allowance are we looking at here? Officially? Zero, of course. But cone of silence? 34%. Episode teases us with a cone of silence, but episode does not deliver on said cone of silence. <laughs> Jason Norhees. Also, that was a huge f***ing explosion, so what the hell is Black Noir's suit made of, and why isn't this portion made of the same stuff? I have a few final questions about Translucent while we still have the opportunity. Firstly, I know they don't actually have his body, but wouldn't people think it's weird that he's not clothed in the casket? He's dressed in basically every picture and portrait that we see, so why not now? Second, also, Lee, why is he always invisible in these pictures and portraits? The public knows what he looks like. He appeared on f***ing Jimmy Fallon for crying out loud. I don't see anyone else flexing their powers in portraits. Well, you don't see translucence either, but what I'm... You know what I mean. I will save you. Except for apparently not now, because it's more important that Homelander gives a speech at a funeral than ridding the world of terrorists. Out of sight! Never out of mind! This memorabilia feels less like a sign of reverence and respect and more like a dumping ground for rejected translucent jokes from the trash can in the TV Sins writer's room. <laughs> Sorry, we don't, we don't actually have a trash can. Not since it started overflowing with Archer references. That's how we got ants. Really hard, John. What comes in waves? The news ticker shows Homelander's comes in waves quote the second he speaks it. And the same thing happens when Starlight talks in a few seconds. Now, of course, this is because this is Vought News Channel and it's all scripted, right? But shouldn't Vought want to at least pretend that it's sincere? I can't get a good signal in the Target parking lot, but Huey is somehow able to stream videos with no issue in this f***ing basement. No one will be seated as the episode cuts back and forth between Huey primping and Starlight unprimping in each of their living spaces. No one followed me down here and they can't even trace my chip down here. If Subways can get Wi-Fi, Vaught should have a way of tracking their most valuable assets down there too. Yeah, you, um, you look good too. You look very, you know, uh, yeah, I'm lying. I'm sorry. If Huey's supposed to represent a human male who doesn't look good, then I'm never showing my face in public again. I saw a Really great picture of you at the Teen Choice Awards with, um, what's his name, Ansel Adams? Alden Aaron Wright. Huey seems surprised at Annie's choice of date, but he can hardly expect her to go to this sort of event solo. Splash stones are glorified backyard sprinklers and they f***ing know it. You built me out? Yeah. Slightly more useful than Hawkeye, bails the deep out of jail so that he can convince him to join a cult. But couldn't they have nabbed him earlier and saved themselves some cash? And if they're just waiting for him to hit rock bottom, I have to wonder what part of your moving to Ohio didn't trigger that immediately. This movie's tagline is you can't kill what you can't see. And I would argue that you can't, especially if he's clothed in non-invisible clothes and armed with a non-invisible weapon. Also using this as your invisible force tagline instead of if you see one hero this year, it won't be this one or just a picture of John Cena. Shut your trap, you dumb bird. Or else, a bollock shot. But that's exactly what William Butcher did. Assuming that bollocksing means blowing someone up with C4 instead of, well, whatever those crazy Brits say bollocksing actually means. And why was Madeline Stilwell's baby found safe in a yard 17 miles away. Oh, thank goodness. For a second there, I was worried that I couldn't root for Butcher anymore. Killing a baby is just a step too far compared to indiscriminately killing people with a baby or his general disregard for anything other than his own murder boner. Could you stay here? We're Frenchie's gangbanger friends. The Cots, they got 31 flavors of semen on them. Baskin c***ins. Also, no judgment, but how does MM know there are 31 distinct flavors? 18 Ed Hannibal, 30 dozen Limarin. Beatles, Brian Epstein. Okay, but I don't remember Hannibal, Marvin, or Epstein using the C word quite so much. Okay, maybe Epstein. We're all rightfully focused on the human lactation stimulation here, but the real thing that freaks me out is that they emptied pretty much everything from this office, but they left the mini fridge plugged in? Okay, that might not seem like a huge deal in comparison, but who am I to play devil's lactation advocate when I get freaked out by drinking milk with Italian food? F all the way off with that nonsense. What happens if, um, uh, I don't know. I do this. Ah! 
Does Homelander have a stun setting? I'm pretty sure he knows how to pull his punches, but this well? How do you just make enough contact to have the ears start gushing blood, but not enough contact to cause the head to explode? Also, how does Homelander get away with this? Vought well, seems to shy away from outright making heroes disappear or else the deep would already be sushi, so what are they gonna do with Blindspot? Telling me tripped in between Homelander's hands? The only reason you're here and not doing corporate PR for fucking diva cups. F you, dude. I imagine that would be a very fulfilling career. I hear their bonus scheme is uncapped and renewed periodically. Also expecting me to believe that Homelander acknowledges women enough to even know what a diva cup is. All three of these texts have just now listed by them. Starlight has so many reasons to be mad at her mother, but quickly moving up the list to number one is that she doesn't tell Starlight everything in one f***ing text. Oh, it is. Don't want to get stuck with the cleaning bill. Then may I suggest a different venue? We've had to blur it, but it doesn't take a genius to figure out the one sheet covering half of the bed isn't doing much to defend against the amputation orgy. First rule in going to a sleazy hotel to work out some seriously sleazy kinks is to close the blinds all the way, is what I've been told. <laughs> okay, armor generation is cool, but the buried BDSM lead here is that he doesn't feel any pain. No pain whatsoever. This is a person that can regrow limbs and doesn't feel pain. This guy should have his own franchise and be played by Ryan Reynolds. I, I, I'd keep the arm, right? Why would you want to keep the arm? And yes, that is the most shocking part to me. Honestly, the rest just seems fairly armless. For an extra grand, I'll let you chop off my dick. I'm really curious about how Gecko found out his powers work with his dick as well. I mean, I guess I don't want to know, but I kind of do want to know, but I don't want to know, but I kind of want to know. Also, Panectomy Profiteering Peeping. Also, also, let's talk about the hero's plan. Annie's been tasked with blackmailing lab tech Matthew into getting her some V and has been provided with his contact details by Huey. And how did Huey get his details? And why did they pick this lab assistant? I mean, fortunately, Matthew has a seedy side hustle, but did Huey know that? If he did, why did he need to put Annie at risk? He could have filmed this and blackmailed him just as easily as Annie could. He's broken every single bone in his arm, broken half his ribs, I can't do nothing. You got all that from a five second visual diagnosis? Is him in a soup? He promised me. You're only smuggling guns, cocaine, and fentanyl. Wait, is he saying that the people that smuggled guns, drugs, and even more drugs <gasps> lied? No one likes being pushed around, but throwing a boat at someone wouldn't be my first answer if I'm trying to keep a low profile. Couldn't he have just used his powers to push the guy away instead of performing a very rare land-based kinetic scoffism? Okay, it's not technically a scoffism, but how often do you get to say death by scoffism? How about saving the world? Wow, unanimous strong reaction. So what is it about? Nope, it's saving America. If Homeland is just going to dictate branding however he sees fit, why is he wasting time going through the song and dance of a focus group? In fact, can we just ban focus groups altogether? I hear that's why they canceled Firefly. That's just Carol. Carol's. I don't have a job. Robin, or my dad, or- Skip? I need you to go into the labs on 67 and steal me a sample of Compound V. I can't. I mean, it's impossible. I'm a nobody there. I'm a lap rat. Which raises all of the questions. One, how does Gecko know about Compound V if he's just a lab rat? Why would they let him in on the most potentially devastating secret they have? Two, how did Huey know that Gecko knew about Compound V? FYI, not a real base. As if Homelander and Maeve are gonna eat MREs and piss in a ditch with the rest of the crew. Yeah, Why would Vought be okay with Stormfront live streaming this marketing embarrassment to thousands of people? Oh my god. Hi! Physically turning the camera around like a former Nazi psychopath instead of flipping the camera. No one ever in the world ever has ever successfully ever filmed what they were intending to film using the front facing camera like this. Ever. You know, you ain't John Cusack, man. You ain't got no motherfucking boombox. Maybe not, but Huey will say anything to get out of a jam. Okay, so give me the description of this guy. About 5'10, 165. Black hair, wearing knockoff jeans and sneakers. Wait, he got all that from- You got all that from the video? Okay, well, here's a sin for M.M.'s unbelievable eye for detail, and for Huey stealing a sin as I'm literally writing it. Probably from Taiwan, maybe India. <laughs> Thanks for narrowing it down to 1.2 million square miles. Might as well have said he's from not here. Frenchy, who do you know who could do that? I don't think any of us have a clue who did that, but safe to say it definitely isn't this brand new person on the news that we've just transitioned to that seems to have something important to say, because that would be weird. My contract's up end of this year. Maybe it's time I uh, move on. He has a contract? I mean, the existence of a contract suggests at the least the possibility of enforcing said contract. And <laughs> 
enforcing a contract against Homelander. <laughs> oh, that's good. What do you know about Frederick Vaught? I'm not getting lectured by Giancarlo Esposito in this scene. Frederick Vaught, such the rising young star that in 39, Hitler appointed him chief physician at Dachau. Oh, for f**k's sake, of course it's the f**king Nazis. If in doubt, let's give the supervillain or super scientist an origin story with the Nazis so that we don't have to do all the heavy lifting of creating a unique backstory. Pop culture sure does owe a lot to the Nazis. W wait, nope, nope. I heard it. As soon as I said it, I heard it. While you're preening at the Golden Globes, we are busy running around like maniacs trying to clean up the mess you made. Mr. Edgar survives this. Listen, I love the gravitas that Giancarlo Esposito brings to a villain, but I still wonder why this stops Homelander from smooshing him. Why does he always seem to restrain himself from doing any real damage until a season finale? Why do heroes always have to arrive as if their only velocity choices are zero or terminal? That wasn't meant for us. How do you know? Because our brains aren't all over the dash, that's how. Why aren't their heads detached from their shoulders right now? This soup can apparently kill anonymously and from a distance, so why would she risk letting the boys minus Butcher get away? Other than we wouldn't really have much of a season two if they did. I know when you're not telling me the truth, Huey, I kind of lived with it every single day. Don't lie to me. Not again. All Huey has to say is I can't talk right now, or this isn't the best place for us to discuss, let's meet later, or anything that doesn't revolve around him lying to the woman he's already screwed over countless times. And he doesn't do that because Huey's a dumbass, and he'll still probably end up with Annie again despite of all of his apparent faults. F***ing Huey. But don't you worry, daddy's home. I don't understand how bringing up a terrible movie starring Mark Wahlberg and Will Ferrell will help matters, but you do you, Butcher. Put your mementos on about the place beyond the pines long enough for us to be more irritated than he is that the show's decided to go all M. Vought Truman shows the village with Becca's mystery location. Also, does that say 60 degrees Celsius? That's like 140 degrees. That's like all the degrees in an already warm day doubled. Hi, welcome to Endless Pasta Week at Tony Cicero's. Everyone's concerned about where the pasta ends, but no one ever asks where it begins. Or William Butcher for allegedly murdering Vaught Vice President Madeline Stilwell. Nine out of 10 expositionists agree. News position is the quickest, easiest, and most convenient way to position. The 10th was shot after saying something about how restaurants don't leave their volume up or select talking head news channels for their patrons. Letting your web browser live life on the edge. He had a ball from the 56 World Series. Signed by Don Larson himself. Pitched a no-hitter in Game 5. A no-hitter? Larson pitched a freaking perfect game in Game 5. You know, it's mistakes like this that make you such a despicable character, Homelander. That's okay, uh, you'll, uh, you'll get the next one. Joe's not even trying to hide that the shapeshifter is significantly less powerful than he was last season. Yeah. Math, yeah, I'm sorry, I forgot. Forgetting about math is a normal human function and it's nothing to be embarrassed about. Circling Ohio instead of putting a line through it. What is missing here? Oh, oh, I, I know this one. Um, subtlety? Nuance? The ability to comprehensively explore the depth of polarization and its impact on power structure as it relates to cultural revolution? Am I close? They're in these suits so much that I'm giving sins for their boys never getting to breathe. Last time I did shrooms, was at a Goo Goo Dolls concert with some poly side chick from Oberlin. Recontextualizing Dizzy Up the Girl. I guess I call it more of a gateway. Being told that you're literally taking a gateway drug and chugging that sh with no hesitation. See it here first, WFAK. KMFT. WDCS. <laughs> Wait, didn't you start with WDCS? Keep watching WDCS. What kind of Mickey Mouse operation doesn't knock the channels out one at a time? How are we supposed to believe any of this now? This idiot shooting coverage of the reporters like he's actually shooting B-roll for a non-existent TV show with a camera that wasn't even there in the last shot. Jesus, if she vibrates any faster, that stick up her ass is gonna explode. A complete misunderstanding of how combustion works and the requirements for detonation. I literally taught you this one. Oh, good. We were all worried that you allegorically taught it to him. I assume you sent the edible arrangement. Consumable callbacks. Isn't it about time to end the clandestine meeting in a parking garage cliche? I get that All the President's Men was a classic, but parking garages are now some of the most surveilled places on the planet. We've already deep-throated this thing enough. Look at us! Remember Melissa Dabrowski? Guilt trips. The kindergarten teacher you finger banged backstage at the VH1 Educator Awards? VH1. Hey! Hey! Let me out, man! The Deep doesn't use his awesome strength to knock this door down. Introspective character just happens to run into a picture of themselves just when they're being introspective, cliche. You know, watching Botched 
doesn't make you a fucking medical expert. Maeve would be excellent at arbitrary and irrelevant botch sins. We didn't need a minute and a half of annoying interview footage to get that these interviews are annoying. But why does it matter whether heroes have a dick or a vag? I mean, there are a couple of kinds of no capes type situations that not having a super dangler might be beneficial, so... Wait, was that rhetorical? How does everyone feel about you helping your traitor f***ing boyfriend escape? Are you accusing your boyfriend of f***ing traitors or being a traitor? I ran it through Grammarly to check and it responded, Seriously, you know what a train meant? You're being purposely obtuse for the purpose of attempted humor. Attempted? Grammarly? I thought we were cool. We won't play it, but the show is affirming how 90% of Huey's personality is Billy Joel. Just had a meeting with the colonel. This captures their attention way more than it should. It just sounds like he either went to KFC or dropped a deuce. Or both. We get her the suit terrorist, and she's gonna get the CIA to scrub our records clean. The foundation of this agreement is super confusing considering she gives him the address. 734 Central Ave, Newark. That's the address she gave me. Why would the CIA not want to handle this themselves? Why do people keep giving this ragtag band of misfits work? Or like that, you could have been happy. Thinking you can know how happy you'll be with someone after knowing them for less than a day. Sorry, that's not exactly right. Let me try again. Having your sentient talking gills try to convince you that you can be happy with someone you've known for less than a day. I'm the ugly one. No. Yes, on the inside. You just don't see what I see. Well, sh For some reason, I'm beginning to feel like this conversation is one of the best things I've ever seen on TV. You are so beautiful. But also simultaneously one of the worst. So in short, do not waste your hard-earned cash on this shitty big titted hunk of plastic that'll probably end up in a manatee's belly when your kid chucks it in the garbage. Stormfront would be a tropical depression at collectible sins. I brought you a sample. Are you kidding me? You said he brought you a sample. Other than showing the audience, there was no reason you needed to open it up in public to check it out. Did you think he meant he brought you some orange chicken from the mall? What'd you just put in your boot? We're supposed to believe that Starlight just put the tampon pouch she was going to put in her boot into Stormfront's bag without A-Train seeing that, even though he's been looking at her the entire time. So I guess the sin is not having regular eye exams and investing in a good pair of transition lenses. Why don't you tell me what's in my boot? Title of my British sex tape? Let's finish tickling these halfwits so we can finally do our real job. Hey, sex work is real work, Stormy. Building a neighborhood street without a curb. Or else you're supposed to paint your house numbers and do mad sick nose grinds, yo. It's fair to say the Homelander enjoying milk has become a sin in and of itself. If you're going to put these monitors on the back wall, what's even the point of the monitors? And if you're in the guard shack, do you need to see footage of the inside of the guard shack? There's just no putting the toothpaste back in the tube. Denying the existence of bulb syringes. Our best guess you'll get bored and move on. Amazon Studios incorrect assumption about TV sin somehow makes it into the episode. I should probably go to bed now, you know? This is an unbelievably relaxed response to you and me are gods. Next you're gonna want me to believe that he enjoys Werther's originals. What happens one day when Ryan asks to go to a baseball game, swim in the ocean, eat at a Burger King? Okay, I'll take these in order. As long as you don't become a Yankees fan. Sand is coarse and rough and irritating and it gets everywhere. And the f did you just say to me? Hello, thin shot. I only got two of these. The writer said it was something about creating tension from arbitrary limited resources or some sh**. Teasing us with the hero we deserve. It's on the shoulders, then it's off the shoulders, then it's on the shoulders. Damn, this tinsel curtain has a surprising amount of discontinuity. Misinterpreting the phrase, the best way to get ahead is to get started. Gotta love it when decapitation and shelf climbing to the perfect pounce position combines beautifully to create a fake out where the characters just hug. Huey tackles Butcher, even though they're using tranquilizer darts. For reasons. Not lighting your entire gorilla face. Have some pride in your work, Amazing.com Party Store. Stormfront either hasn't noticed this bright pink case sticking out of her bag, or she opened it and thinks the blue mystery liquid is there to demonstrate the absorbency of these tampons. You are literally bulletproof. What the f*** is going to happen? Starlight could respond with something about the guy with laser eyes and a short temper, or an anecdote about A-Train forcibly causing his ex to OD, or maybe even something about the grenade up your boot trick that the boys pulled on Translucent. If nothing else, just point out that generally there are other ways to be killed that don't involve bullets. Stormfront should not win this argument. And all the girls dressed like Disney s would make fun of me. Ha! <laughs> like Disney would actually exist in this world and not have purchased Vought years ago. It's like Huey's infected you both with a raging case of vagina! Thinking this is a bad thing. And then I woke up three hours later and a Tony f***ing Cicero's. 
You woke up outside a Tony f***ing Cicero's. I stand along with and beside proper prepositional usage. <laughs> Apology battles. Who is sexting? I get that the dude is fast, but does he have telepathy or super hearing as well? Because Starlight had already sent that text and put the phone away by the time he'd whooshed into the room. What are you doing with this? This is not how it looks. How does it look though? There's at least a small chance this looks like she just enjoys the V in the same way he does. Starlight pauses long enough for us all to wonder why A-Train hasn't zoomed off yet. You killed your f***ing girlfriend, say if Sports Illustrated found out? Yep. Whenever I think of publications breaking news about a murder, the first one that comes to mind is always Sports Illustrated. F***ing try it. I don't give a sh. Of course it's gonna work, but this newfound confidence really shouldn't prevent A-Train from circling back with Homelander on this topic. <laughs> Throwing your sister through a brick wall. The boys arrived so perfectly on time, I'm surprised Hannibal from the A-Team didn't pop up and say, I love it when a plan comes together so conveniently that you question reality. Kimiko went through the side of a building a block from here, and this neighborhood is not swarming with cops, or whichever poor soups get assigned to Newark. Backing through a stop sign when you had a clear shot at pulling a Huey Huey. Billy Joel. How long are we gonna be sulking about like some Ponzi eyeline wearing emo twi- Putting aside the fact that we stopped making fun of emos and eyeliner about a decade ago, this joke would make more sense if Huey was listening to My Chemical Romance or Panic at the Disco. But he's listening to Billy Joel, so I'm not sure the joke works. And Butcher should probably give Huey some space before he has a heart attack. We'll say, I lost me bottle a little bit when I pumped you one. Yeah, but losing your bottle, Butcher, would mean you've lost your nerve or you became scared. I think you meant you lost your head or you're just terrible at understanding idioms. And I'd honestly believe either possibility. So, um... Sorry. Adding a question mark to your apology. <coughs> Easy there, Huey. Billy punched you once. You got your free shot back. That's officially settled according to man law. No more hitting unless you want to incur further penalty shots. Huh. Maybe there's a reason women live longer. I think if there's a way to screw this up, you'll find it. Grace would be f***ing diabolical at TV sins. Look, I just want me wife back. Me wife. Those are not boys, those are birds. Wearing a Spuds McKenzie shirt in the year of our Lord 2020. F***ing hell. Karen Fukuhara doesn't say one word in this entire series, but she still manages to bring more humanity to the show than most of the folks who do. Damn it, take a sin off. I wasn't aware Compound V granted the power to make crusty YouTube critics emotional. Boy, you feel rich. Littering. Also, VIP areas and clubs. Am I just sinning them because I've never been invited to a VIP area in a club? Yes, yes I am. Sir. Placing your used dirty gloves to where they're touching part of the fruit plate. F*** you, Homelander. You've completely ruined milk for me. Thanks to you, I've had to start putting orange juice in my cereal. That is the moment the seven became the seven. Except that there's only six of them currently, and they've already had the funeral for Translucent. They couldn't have waited on this pitch until after they filled that seven spot. But, um, a little effort would be nice. <laughs> what a firecracker. So much fun. I hope she doesn't secretly become a Nazi or something. <laughs> um, excuse me, but I do have two sisters. People who name drop the women in their family when they're accused of being pigs. You don't f with the money. You never f with the money. But you can still f*** on the money, right? My entire life is almost 100% modeled after a decent proposal, so... And after that, I the beach, the aquarium, red lobster. Red lobster. Uh, hey. Is this you? Uh, hey, is Huey leaving a f***ing voicemail about exposing Compound V on Starlight's phone? Which could be used as evidence against Starlight and Huey and get them both killed? <laughs> Pressing your saliva factory door against someone else's saliva factory door without explicit consent. Not one goddamn win. Huey, two seconds ago you were saying this was mostly starlight. You only got upset when Billy didn't pick you up or try to kiss you, so which is it? Is this your win or starlight's? If it's your win, take the minor compliment from Billy and move on. If it's starlight's win, then tell Billy to call and congratulate her. But you can't have it both ways. Thirsty? Offering someone an energy drink when they're thirsty. You might as well pour a bag of sugar and salt down their throat to quench their thirst. I know I should care about what's going on here, but all I keep asking myself is why are there so many drawers in this room? Who would need this many drawers in one room? Kenji uses his powers to crush an energy drink cannon, then uses it to cut through f***ing metal chains. And it f***ing works. 
Well, now. a stranger is just a friend you ain't met yet. Yeah, that's what I thought when this guy left his Wendy's chicken nuggets at the table next to me so he could go wash his hands. I figured he was a friend I hadn't met yet, so I took a few. But he wasn't very friendly when he got back and found my face covered in his honey mustard. Long story short, turns out you can go to jail for surprisingly little. Postmating Papa John's isn't gonna help. Why would you use a delivery service for a pizza chain that already delivers? Hey. Uh, hey, Annie, it's me again. Leaving a second incriminating voicemail before the girl you stalk can return the first incriminating voicemail you left. Or companies in crisis, dude. Maybe wait an hour before calling again. Being like James Bond and everything. Why James Bond? The woman you're madly in love with did some awesome spy sh** and you couldn't even pick another woman spy to compare her to? Why not Black Widow? Why not the Baroness? Evelyn Salt? Lorraine Broughton? Not you. Us. Seven. There's still only six of them. Is there a compound V formula that can teach people how to count? <laughs> that might be helpful. You guys, you are my real family. Telling your co-workers that they're your family. Dude, that's like the universal language for justifying shitty work conditions, usually low pay and last minute schedule changes. I did not see that coming from you. Maybe you don't know me that well. Maybe I don't. You literally don't know each other that well. You two have been working together for what, two days? And Homelander's been off playing Daddy Dearest for the majority of that time. <laughs> What world-threatening scenario is the Deep ever actually needed for? Even on the rare chance that bad guys are at sea, Homelander can f***ing fly. They didn't need the Deep before he became a PR nightmare. How did he ever make the seven? I mean the six. I gotta say, as funny, and not to mention gross, as this sequence is, it could have been better. I mean, Sharknado gave us a former Beverly Hills 90210 star emerging from the belly of a live shark with a f***ing chainsaw in his hand. I feel like that should at least be the goalpost we're aiming for, right? To diabolical. And not to mention insane, the entire group survived this without snapping their necks or shattering their skulls. Whales aren't filled with pillows, you know? What the f are you waiting for? A second wind. I guess it would have made less sense if Huey had said he was waiting for his piano man or his uptown girl, but out of all the Billy Joel songs, we're stuck with your only human is the bookended metaphor, and I fing hate it. Your gill is showing. Cover it up. It's disgusting. That's gillist. Chicks, right, Huey? How does Homelander not hear this group of beating hearts right behind him? We already know he has super senses, so what's blocking them here? Is concrete his new weakness, or is it the writers? What exactly was the plan here? You uncuff him, he knocks out Homelander, and then what? You thought the man whose sole goal is to escape would just agree to get back into his restraints. <laughs> Murder. Also, scene does not contain Holly Berry asking the question, do you know what happens to a toad when it's struck by lightning? How did Homelander not hear Kamiko sneaking away? And how did Stormfront forget about the second individual with power she was just trying to kill 30 seconds ago? I don't want anything bad to happen to Kamiko. She's one of my favorite characters, but her escape here is nothing short of the writers needed it to happen. You snooze, you lose, Gramps. Gramps? You're like 70 years older than Homelander. I had no knowledge whatsoever. Of all the plays to take from the 90s presidential playbook, I'm not sure televised denial was the right one. Choosing not to shower off your whale intestines before sitting down to watch some TV. Federal authorities have initiated a manhunt for William Butcher. Kicking things off with some previously on news position and narration. Communication is everything. Eventually we'll know what's going on here, but right now it's just distracting and hard to give a shit about when I just want to get back to the people that were literally just inside a whale. Details are still emerging about the soup terrorists. Newspo previously awning after the previous previously on news position and narration had narr- Who keeps writing this shit? No one can debate that New Yorkers owe their lives to the brave actions taken by Stormfront. Your fake news doesn't know how to debate correctly. This cabin manages to both over candle and over lamp. Who produced this show anyway? Illumination? Delivering liquid to someone's mouth hole with your feculent draggled hand wieners. Having a giraffe for a grandmother. I ever tell you about my recurring dream? I'm on stage. Not giving someone a chance to lie and answer yes so they don't have to listen to your stupid dream that no one cares about. We can't have anonymous skull exploding assassins walking around. Being okay with well-known skull exploding assassins walking around. I found Becca, or at least our best guess where she is. Telling someone you have the thing they care about most and then pausing before saying, well, actually, I'm just guessing. I'm sorry. I I can only hold a shape for so long before it really hurts. And coincidentally, that amount of time is exactly the amount of time the writers thought we would buy this bullshit scenario. Storming an off the books Vought compound alone. Which, how is it possible that you're dumber than you look? Marvin T. Milk would be lactose intolerant at TV sins. Kids are weeper. Don't want them to get snow all over me jacket. Me jacket. 
Can we talk about Homelander's shoulder eagles for a second? Not only are those things ugly as sin, but they are completely impractical. HL would be catching those things on all sorts of stuff throughout his day and accidentally maiming his co-workers just by turning around near them. As if Homelander needs a reason to accidentally maim his co-workers. Intentionally lingering on the number of the floor Homelander got off on is an attempt to get me to say nice. But also, nice. Would you like an almond joy? Removing the joy because you're allergic to almonds. The screens of this show are the bullshittiest bullshit to ever be shit out of a bowl. What even is all this mess and how would it be helping anyone in this room in the slightest? The creators were like, just put a bunch of small stuff on there so the jerks over at TVS can't read it or sin it. Well, first, you have greatly underestimated us. And also, stop calling us TVS. Look, Annie, they take time. How much time? I'm guessing the time it will take will be strangely connected to how strong the ratings of the show remain. <laughs> just a guess. So I have a second cousin who lives around there. I could tell Bob that I'm going to visit. Tricking the most powerful company in the world with literal superheroes on its payroll with the old second cousin routine. Seriously, the amount of disbelief the show wants me to suspend just so Starlight and Huey can get some hang time together is astronomical. Also, I know what you did, Edible Arrangements. Papyrus! What the f*** is VOD for tots? It's new fitness outreach for toddlers. Being a new fitness outreach for toddlers instead of the long-awaited reveal about how they recruit babies into their soup development program. Uh, good, you're here. Because I came here to kick you out of the seven and boy howdy, isn't it nice you just happen to be in the room and already discussing things because you also just happen to see Shockwave at the elevators. We won't dare play the song because we didn't start the fire might be powerful enough to force a sin removal. But these two falling in love against the backdrop of AIDS, crack, and Bernie Getz makes it seem like they're not actually hearing the lyrics. Look, on the socio-political satirical front, this show never stops going hard, and I can't help but never stop respecting them for it. Have you heard of the lovers of Baldaro? No, and I also forgot you were doing these weird zero context when Super Harry Met Sally interview cut-ins, so I'm all different sorts of confused right now. You smell like a wet dog. Misunderstanding the concept of foreplay. Are you gonna tell me what's wrong? Or are you just gonna stain my clean sheets with your sweaty despair? Misunderstanding the concept of pillow talk. What could this grieving all alone ever do? Sometimes people are different in the ways they handle trauma and grief, and different coping mechanisms can have different levels of efficacy depending on the... Oh, were you just stating a rhetorical question with no interest whatsoever in the nuance and depth of a possible answer or discussion? Right. Carry on, then. He'd take me to Dunkin' on the sly, and he would get me a chocolate cream-filled donut. Going to Dunkin' for donuts? Dunkin's for coffee. And maybe one of those breakfast croissant sandwiches. <laughs> You're better off going to a gas station for donuts than Dunkin'. I mean, other than the raspberry filled. You know what, guys? I might be really hungry right now. Having your donuts for three minutes already and only eating this much. Especially considering Milk's donut is somehow still whole even though we saw him take a big bite earlier and a second bite from behind. Any part of your body, and I mean any part, mm -hmm. that you dry wipe, you're not cleaning anything. Wow, that really contextualized the argument he had with Frenchie in the first season. You need to eat my clenched asshole. But I wish it didn't. It'll be okay. Especially for the guy in the passenger seat with his arm hanging out of the window. Not only was he not in the line of impact, he didn't even exist a few seconds ago. And that van went much further off the road than this. Did the continuity department just take the week off? Any place around here without a million bloody cameras. Introducing this complaint about the age of social media without giving us the slightest idea of how he got past a single one of those million bloody cameras. The place that has no cameras looks like the place that needs all the cameras. Who the f*** built this compound? Well, that's it. Butcher found Becca. Primary plot driver complete. It's been a good two seasons. Sad to see the show go, but now that these two have reunited, there's no way to use any other bullshit to continue on. I'm out. I'll go ahead the last scrape of what I didn't know. Thinking past performance is a guarantee of future results. Oh, no. Why you can't climb that fence? Bullshit. We all know kids are excellent climbers. It's part of what makes the threat they pose to society very real. <laughs> Ignoring your sleep apnea. Is that an Almond Joy? The second mention of Almond Joys in this episode is such a clear indication of product placement that it completely takes me out of the reality of a show that has super-powered beings in it. The antiseptic wipes? Really? You haven't noticed any of this. Thinking that antiseptic wipes are a sign of OCD as opposed to a sign of being a person who just wants to clean their hands. I sleep about four hours a night. I wish I slept four hours a night. I mean, I'm too busy chewing my fingernails down to the quick insalubrity competitions just wondering if homelander is waiting around every corner to kill me the comfort at which this human with one of the most recognizable faces in the world has these kinds of conversations at this volume in a public place is baffling 
As legend has it, the top blanket is rarely washed, so they're touching the top blanket while doing the thing in the place that is the main reason you should never touch the top blanket. Wait, 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 wait. I got it. Starlight uses her internal dimming switch, and now I'm completely confused about her powers. If she pulled energy from the lamp to do this, then the light should return to normal after she stops drawing power. Unless she's continually drawing power from the lamp, which would make the Sin Huey not being worried about his Huey. So he asked me to get one of these with him. Not having the physical capabilities of pronouncing the word no. Rebecca's back already on the same night. How is this not suspicious to the guards? Did the writers just bump up her previously unknown smoking habit to a pack a day? Getting Urban in an Outback. Get it? Because his name is Carl Urban and the Outback is the opposite of the city and he's Australian. Do you get it? 90% of this episode is pre and post coital chats. And all the boys get some except M.M. Well, at least he got a donut. Do you want one? No. <sighs> Not having the mental capabilities of understanding the word no. I just act like, you know, Carol f***ing Brady all day. How dare you? You keep America's mom's f***ing name out your f***ing mouth. Wasted space. Seriously, you can put like a hundred Shake Shacks there. Me and Elena are just friends. Elena and I are just friends, Maeve. Honestly, that's the most offensive thing I've heard this entire scene. Look, news position is a scourge on all media, but in this single episode of a single TV show, this is now the sixth time a character has received information or motivation via a random news broadcast. Just take the leap, the boys. Do an entire episode that's just news broadcasts. At least that would show a little creativity. Lucar, please. Deus mon corona. And y'all are just some damn fools. Letting a secondary character say the most authentic and truthful thing in the history of your show. When I was a kid, something happened between my family and Vaughn, which I'd rather not talk about, but it was bad. And this just feels like the script's way of saying, I don't want to pay myself into a corner in case we get a third season and have to make sure any of this makes sense. A little black girl accusing a white superhero of murder in these parts? Up until this point, the show's been taking on the superhero problem mostly from the perspective of celebrity and hero worship, addressing unfair power dynamics as they relate to literal physical strength. So finally seeing how superpowers could collide with the history of race relations in America is pretty deep. And to be clear, I said deep, not the deep. So quickly take your sin back before I have to give one to the deep. She's probably dead by now. <laughs> oh, no, no. I... I just happen to have an outdated form of news delivery here that also just so happens to have the big reveal that's directly related to why you came here. That's Liberty. So Valerie saw Liberty up close because she was in the car and witnessed her brother's murder. But if Liberty was in the public eye enough to be in Budweiser adverts, she must have had enough exposure that other people would recognize her as well. But who knows what Compound V can do? Ooh, oh, I, I know this one. Whatever the f the show needs it to do. Who prepared the meme PowerPoint for Homelander to click through and why? Also, I don't like a single one of these memes. Here's a better one I just came up with off the top of my head. Much better, right? This constant need to be loved by everyone is kind of pathetic. What? I don't need to be loved by everyone. Just a few thousand people on a daily basis and I should be fine. Oh, you weren't, you weren't talking about me, were you? You don't need 50 million people to love you. You need 5 million people f***ing pissed. This being true. Then we have Homelander all over again, then there's two f***ing assholes in this world. Show makes me long for a world with only two f***ing assholes. Drinking this many Red Bulls, and by this many I mean drinking even one Red Bull. Also, I love how the show is like, show a bunch of empty Red Bulls so the audience will know they've been looking through footage for a long time and it won't make this happening at this point in the episode not feel so conveniently timed. Nice try, story wizards. But your magic has no power here. Also, also, in a world full of soups, can Red Bull be sued for false advertising? Or does it actually give you wings? Listen, if you're ever in the mood for another Almond Joy. The title of this episode should have been Almond Joy Presents News Position. We've now found out that these interviews are about finding the deep a wife. And the only reason we couldn't have known that sooner is so the episode could pretend to be avant-garde or some shit. Well, joke's on you, show. I don't even know what an avant is or why they're so hard to protect. I don't need anyone but myself. Does that negligee just transform with doppelganger? Earlier, when he couldn't hold the transformation because he was tired, it was still on him, so doesn't that mean it's an actual physical object? The truth is, we're going to need to see how that negligee looks on every member of the Seven to really suss this out. For science. The back of this body double, I mean doppelganger's hair, is visibly different from the back of Homelander's. That's just shoddy craftsmanship. But again, if staying changed takes great effort, as mentioned earlier, how is Doppelganger efforting as a corpse? 
Shouldn't he have changed back the second his neck was broken? Or was the visual metaphor a bit too important? Episode opens two layers deep into its movie within a TV show being filmed, cliche. Forcing me to think about how painful that tattoo on your hand must have been to get, and I don't f***ing appreciate it. If you hadn't broken into that DHS mainframe. True. I am hell of a hacker. But I'm no hero. We get it. It's a bad big budget movie being produced by an evil big budget corporation. And The Boys is a good big budget show being produced by a maybe not evil big budget corporation. There's a nuance here that I don't have the time or motivation to unpack. So in the end, I'm just going to say that this whole thing feels like the pot calling the kettle a wanker. Also, scene where someone says hell of a hacker does not contain an Angelina Jolie. Look at these strong female lesbians. <laughs> Homelander really is just an oxymoron, isn't he? So what, they're all starving, but one of them's got a f***ing cell phone? Downplaying the economic impact of technological leapfrogging. Being the tall guy standing in the front of the pit. Don't get me wrong, I'm empathetic to your situation. You want to get a close-up look at Harry Styles just like the rest of us. Unfortunately, there are 40 people behind you that are now your mortal enemies in plotting your demise. So the sin is that slow and calculated vengeance that I hope never catches up with you. Man, we are tripling down here. We've got the forlorn look, the cigarette, and the shot of what I can only assume is shitty bourbon. How else would we ever know that Billy's two seconds away from being a blubbering mess because his wife wasn't okay with him killing her child? Vought Fresh Farms? Come on. Vought's more of an asshole behind the asshole. They'd have a subsidiary for this. Thinking I'd be distracted by these Werther's originals. It worked. Hey, hey, hi, hi. Sorry, thought uh, I was getting a voicemail. Admitting to someone you were hoping you could leave them a message instead of actually having to, you know, talk to them. What are you watching? A show called Eat My Dick. Thinking that title would make anyone less interested in what you're watching. <sighs> you're a sight for sore eyes. Oh, hey, it's that guy from Heroes whose power I can't remember. And he's been in a bunch of other stuff too, but all I remember is Heroes. A legacy isn't always something you get to choose. Clearly you like me. You've been eye me like a lovesick stand girl all day. Lovesick stand girls have been accused of a lot of things, but simply liking something is not one of them. Banana salt water taffy. Banana salt water taffy. So this is what it all comes to, eh? Metamucil and ringing out the out for a few drops of piss. Hey, you don't know what that guy did to end up in that hover round. He might have done a sick jump. Alexander Hamilton never was a Puerto American. Any personal growth that could have occurred from this impassioned debate about the artistic choices made in the production of Hamilton immediately gets its face ripped off. Oi, Billy, you should have told me you were bringing company. Oi, who's this one remind you of? Oi, are we really to believe that Billy's drug dealing Anne is letting strangers into her home just because they said they were friends of his? Oi, old people are just as bad as kids. What are you doing here? Well, Huey heard a dog toy on the phone. But how did Huey know it was a toy specifically for a dog? Babies and toddlers have squeaky toys as well. They're the toys your sisters get for your newborn child because they hate you and never want you to get any sleep again. Just so you know, that's Terry's girlfriend. What? He's pink. Huey's been holding this thing the whole scene, and the only reason Judy didn't mention this earlier is that the writers know you can't have an old woman say, It's pink. Without a bit of foreplay first. Having your mirror pointed up in a way that you can see black noir on the roof is convenient and completely useless for driving. Also, episode never confirms whether or not black noir actually thinks this is hiding. Ma'am, do you have any nails, ball bearings, electrical wiring, pressurized aerosol products? I need a can about this big. Turns out that asking the teacher this on the first day of second grade is a good way to force your parents to move to a different school district. She's hashtag brave Maeve. We're recommending a multi-pronged image makeover. This is some top-tier satire about corporations shamelessly latching on to anything in the public consciousness and exploiting it just to make a buck. Grand Marshals at the New York and Chicago Pride because you are two proud lesbians. And Malcolm Barrett makes it just as funny as it is critical, so go ahead and take your sin back. That looks like menswear. Pew research shows that two feminine women in a relationship sends a problematic message. Yeah, this isn't Penthouse Forum. It's definitely not, because this is something that even Penthouse Forum would turn their nose up at. Seriously, not a single person just happens to look up and spot in war. Is this right? Just like Home Alone, except way less. Delightful. Yeah, the less delightful Home Alone already has a title, and that title is Saw. And I don't think you want to play that game, Huey. Unless, of course, you know how to get a bear trap off your head without ripping your jaw off in the process and in less than 60 seconds. That ninja c**t's here for me, isn't he? The thing I said to my mom when Josh Billings showed up at our house on the Halloween of 1996 somehow makes it into the episode. It ain't that kind of massage parlor. The thing I said to Josh Billings in the summer of 2016 when I invited him out for a spa day somehow makes it into the episode. I know the rage you feel. But this, this is not the way. Says the man who assisted in full-on murdering one of the seven. 
This is poison for your soul. No, the best poison for your soul, Frenchie, is every rose has its thorn. I'd also accept Unskinny Bop. Go be a monster. Once again, says the guy who assisted in full-on murdering one of the seven. Remember when you were young and the world was full of possibilities? Skip. Purchasing this domain, but then proving your creative bankruptcy by just having it redirect to the Sony Pictures website. Everyone in that city ate my paella. My grandmother's paella also brings all the boys to the yard. F the guy with elephantitis. I've gotten something horribly wrong here. I think it's time that I stay put for a while. But why are they letting the public know A-Train is retiring in a f***ing movie or whatever this is? A movie they're f***ing filming instead of saving the lives of whomever happens to be in danger today. Scene does not contain one Edna mode. But if you've served with our amazing soldiers like I have, you would know that freedom comes at a price. You don't speak for us! Can't believe I'm somewhat taking Homelander's side in anything, but technically he's not speaking for the military. He's sharing his own experience while he's been working alongside the military and seeing them in action. Anyone who's ever watched this TV show, or any TV show, knows this isn't something that's actually happening, so there is no suspense, and I have to ask, why is this lasering? Like, for reals, Black Noir is still not being noticed? Titties do not need a committee, a board, or a deliberative assembly. You leave the titties alone. Putting a full pineapple in this packed ass fruit bowl. Can I ask you something? Asking someone a question about whether or not you can ask them a question. All right, you f***er. Where are you? Why is Noir even hiding? If those explosions didn't hurt him, why would he be concerned about Butcher being able to fight him? So you want to take me on, do you? This is why we love Billy so much. He's not afraid to stand up to power and face impossible odds. But it's also increasingly more bullshit every time he survives one of these interactions. I've got Stormfront flying in. This turn of phrase is incredibly deceiving when the person can actually fly. Apparently the cinematographer's superpower in this scene was the male super gaze. Guessing a password right based on the convenient clue right next to the computer is convenient. This is why when setting your passwords, you look at five different things in the room and create a word mashup of all of them substituting numbers for some of the letters. And this is why you forget that password five minutes later and have to reset it every time you need to log in. She didn't just lie to me about compound V, okay? She lied to me about everything. Man, Starlight's taking that there is no Santa Claus seriously. You are Tilda f***ing Swinton. She's obviously giving off more of a Meryl Streep vibe, and you know that Stormfront. Lightning really doesn't strike twice. Roy Sullivan deniers. I do like you. You, you got spunk. Telling a grown adult they have spunk. I got you something. Tara, f*** it. That's my boy. Writers think the terror would just start humping the first stuffed animal he sees, when we all know a gentleman of his caliber values a proper courtship. How is the group posting up on the side of the road like this not suspicious to that cop over there in the background? Not being sure whether you're f***ing or fighting, and just settling on the answer of yes. 50 seconds of previously awning your way right into a flashback. I guess the present and the future can go f*** themselves. Why are you laughing? Being confused why the people on drugs are laughing. And you're not talking about porn. The golden shower girls. <laughs> the disrespect of mistaking television brilliance for pornography. I swear on the names of B. Arthur, Rue McClanahan, Estelle Getty, and Betty White, I will strike down upon you with great vengeance. You are my Blanche. You are my Dorothy. Of course I'm Betty White. You are Rose, asshole. Who wants to rob a bank? And for the record, Betty White wouldn't do a common ass crime like bank robbery. She'd do some queen sh like hacking all the credit reporting agencies and erasing everyone's debt or removing a head from Mount Rushmore. Will it get through my skin? If it can't, nothing can. Yeah, nothing. Except the tool to put the tracker in there in the first place. Gah! The blood splatter was fine, damn it. I don't need to see you digging into a bleeding wound. How am I supposed to finish my Funyuns? Show finally gives us a scene of these heroes actually stopping crime. And I'm sure that's all that will happen here. Nothing will subvert that. Nothing at all. We are heroes. That's what heroes do. Stealing your line from the God of Hammers. I mean, sparkles. I mean, thunder. No, no, it's definitely sparkles. The suit is so rigid, I can only imagine that Homelander has the most uncomfortable boner right now. <laughs> Mutual murderbation? Dave. The rats are like uh, Pokemon. Forgetting that there are literally rat Pokemon, like Raticate. And now I'm reminded that Ash traded his Butterfree for one like a dumbass. So here's a sin for reminding me of that episode. Tired killing people for money. Despite all the evidence to the contrary, Frenchie still thinks he has the moral high ground in this argument. Well, 
What don't kill you makes you stronger. Bringing Frederick Nietzsche into a conversation where you've been reminded of shooting a woman. We better have us a little deco with this loony bin, eh, lads? Butcher's dialogue tries very hard to prove he is British, while contributing to the stigma of mental health issues. This is just the demo, of course. We're going out to Lil Nas X for the official version. Going through all the trouble of hiring Lil Nas X and not letting him write the song. Did you guys even listen to Call Me By Your Name? I had to sell Prince's guitar. Now he's just the soup formerly known as the owner of Prince's guitar. Talk about getting ass f with a soup can. Wait, would you? Are we talking about an open can? Or does it have to be soup? Why not just a can of vegetables? Wouldn't that just... You know what? One sin for giving me more questions than answers, Mr. I f dolphins. Would you like a fresca? I thought fresca had been discontinued, but alas, I was wrong. So the sin is that apparently a lot of people answer this question with yes. Sage Grove, a proud subsidiary of Global Wellness Services, which is a subsidiary of... I can guess. We all guessed it too, so I don't know why we needed this exposition. Or why MM waited till everyone was getting out of the van to deliver it. Weaponized Xanax. The grenades you used on Behemoth during the bank heist? You got a soup activated by rage, so you simply take away his rage, turn him into a cupcake. That sounds like a very specific weapon. How did he know he'd be going up against the specific soup whose weakness is being chilled out? Also, the show suggests that all it would take to subdue the Hulk is Xanax. So the sin is Marvel. And Cold Snap two months ago? Malchemical a month before that? Okay, Cold Snap is a badass superhero name, but Malchemical? Where did you get that one? Walter White's Justice League fan fiction? Pairing your 25 red roses with f***ing baby's breath. What amateur did you get these from, Homelander? A real florist would have used snapdragons or pin cushions. The woman gave you a hand job in the alley and this is how you repay her? Step up your game, you milk-addicted maniac. Yeah, I see him. And thanks to this bright flash of light, so did every other person on this side of the facility. Seriously, you brought the one soup whose power makes her impossible to hide? <laughs> what happened to... You're looking well. Yeah, no thanks to the 50 caliber round that she pumped into my chest. We have no reason to believe these bullets are bigger or better. Is this plan just to piss her off? Stormfront manages to fly past them and see nothing, despite them standing outside their van under no cover whatsoever. I have a patient that needs help. Hurry up, please! This works, because the security guard thinks that he'd be the person that the hospital staff would turn to during a serious medical emergency. They never talk about this murder ever again. Whether he's constantly vomiting this acid or just doing it on cue with the camera movements, we do not need to see anyone puke. Ever. God damn. Brother's got a love sausage. Foreskin shadowing. That orderly storm for us with. He look familiar to you? Je sais pas. <laughs> Saying je ne sais pas instead of just no. This successful test subject gets ruthlessly roasted for asking to talk to his sister. And not because such things make someone all that hard to deal with, but because the boys needed a shocking way to find out that this orderly is the infamous lamplighter. lamplighter we have to kill him. Okay, but why are you drawing your gun now? Are you gonna shoot the surveillance footage? Can fire blow a hole in a door like this? Perhaps. Did the story need a way for this super dangerous soup to be accidentally freed? Absolutely. Do you remember that extra helping of Kraft? Shells and cheese that I snuck you? Oh, sh**. They swapped Kraft in for Velveeta in this universe. You monsters! Does this guard not know what they do here or the odds that a soup could be bulletproof? And why would Vought equip these guards with regular guns? Why would the guards themselves not all be soups? This was an accident waiting to happen. If she could rip metal doors from their hinges, what exactly was keeping Cindy secure in her own cell? She didn't need lamplighter to melt it, right? Could Cindy have escaped any time she wanted? This is a dumb superpower to have if your outside skin isn't also immune to being burned by your own acid. Now that I've gotten that off my chest, how did his lips burn off? There should be a burnt head with two perfectly good lips all puckered up. Wow, that was cool. Hope we get to see this guy use his power. Hell, oh, shit. I need power. Well, you got a pretty superpower then, don't you? Butcher would be diabolical at TV sins. Oh, wait, did we already use that one? Hang on, I gotta look through some past boys episodes. Uh-huh, oh, yeah, <laughs> uh, yep, we we did use it. Well, since we used the same sin twice, you're now qualified for our sin rebate program. Simply send us a printed selfie of you holding up pictures of the two identical sins via self-addressed stamped envelope, and you will see a sin removal within six to eight business years. Why would you need to explain anything to me? Choking your girlfriend without explicit consent and establishing a safety word. For a man in seven-figure debt, a heart condition, and in heavy withdrawal, do you really think you have the luxury to get up and leave? People who use the word luxury like this. Eh, just people who use the word luxury in general. Let Deep tell you his truths. No one makes a joke here about the Deep getting deep. You were tailing me the night that I torched those kids. Straight up admitting to torching children. Who the f*** do you think you are, Anakin Skywalker? Don't do it. 
Don't you dare do it, Frenchie. Oh, he's going to do it. Yep, he's flashbacks positioning. FBI, need to commandeer your vehicle, bit of an emergency. Even though it would be much less confusing for Americans, Butcher never pretends to be MI6 or Interpol. FBI, they're really not even American. Hold up there, guy who's only here to be killed off as a way to create a moral dilemma for Annie. For all you know, Butcher could be a naturalized U.S. citizen, which would make him eligible to apply for the job. If I wanted to boost some wheels, it wouldn't be a f***ing Hyundai, you daft my grandfather commenting on Kia Boy's TikTok somehow makes its way into the episode. You stay back. This will stand off for all of the some time. Annie's able to control her powers well enough to cauterize a wound, but not well enough to not accidentally kill that guy who she will find out was a father so she can feel even more guilty and sad about it. So Mary did proper fool. Some other rods and ends, I'll make a knockout bomb. I love exploring Frenchie's ingenuity, but why haven't they tried a window? Even if they have bars, we've already seen Lamplighter melt his way through that prison door. I figured you boast about it to Homelander. I'm not a f***ing animal. Well, you do burn people alive for a living, Lamplighter. I wouldn't call you a saint, either. I told you I have something. Something more important than this, you... more important than us. Yes, since it's about keeping them out of prison. Why do shows pretend words are so hard to just say? Oh, thanks. Your approval means everything to me. This sarcasm might have made sense if an hour ago you weren't so desperate to know why he disapproved of you. You know that I hate Vought as much as you do. You know that. But it doesn't even matter to you. You can't have it both ways, Starlight. He said thanks. You said no prob. Move on. That's it. These people are test subjects. They're trying to stabilize the V. Explain. Now that they've had their breakfast club moment, they're all friends, and Lamplighter can finally tell the audience all about what's going on in this facility. Why would Vought do that? It's going to f*** up their movies, their merchandise. Okay, don't tell me. They just make me burn the evidence. Okay, but who is they? Vought doesn't tell you why? Or the script writers for this episode didn't tell you why? Because it kind of seems like the latter. I'm pretty sure this is what happens when you spend too much time working your love gherkin. After all those reps, it gets strong enough to strangle you with the same wanton disregard for decency that you've shown it all these many years. And if none of that turns out to be true, then once again, the sin is the many failings of my high school health class. Also, could the struggle against this powerful and seemingly prehensile man meat of a metaphor be about fighting the patriarchy? Debate. I just killed six subjects out there like a f***ing teddy bear picnic. Well, I guess teddy bear picnics are nowhere near as cute and cuddly as I would have thought. Just needs a couple of days for this Vaseline to kick in. What are you, a f***ing pharmacist? Just say antibiotics like a normal person. Also, we don't get to see Butcher explain the shrapnel sticking out of his friend in a way that results in no one in the hospital calling the cops. I'm gonna Postmates Sugarfish. It's 2023, and this is a sentence that makes sense. Maeve left the phone hooked up to the GoPro because no one questions a GoPro on its own, but when it's hooked up to another device, you better believe it's got some incriminating evidence on it. Cigars. She unplugs the cable and then it's magically plugged back in. Boom, quick efficient continuity sin. What, so they could tell the world we left the rest of them to fucking die? This camera is surprisingly good at picking up very specific plot important dialogue on a plane full of terrified screaming people. He cannot absolve my uh, scenes. No one can. Oh yeah? Watch me. But also, just remember what they always say. Sometimes the Sin Lord taketh away and sometimes the Sin Lord giveth. It's my job. 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 It's my job. You cannot punish him as much as he punishes himself. Well, oh, if that mentality works, let's never prosecute anyone for any crimes and just let self-punishment guide humanity to its bright utopian future. We'll never have to lock up murderers, arsonists, or people who talk to you while using the urinal ever again. Heinrich Himmler. He was a lovely dancer. <laughs> yeah, nobody had moves like Himmler. He was especially good at the worm after he took that cyanide capsule. Aww, ew. <laughs> Opening up with that flashbang decapitates position moment that you appear to be so proud of. I think you've replayed it in every subsequent episode, and this is beginning to feel like that irritating but adorable nephew who keeps telling you the same knock-knock joke because it made you chuckle once 23 years ago. Are you bulletproof, mother Please, I have a family, please. Implying that someone without a family deserves to be shot more than someone with a family. And your plan would be? Same as always. Squeeze the c that gives up the next c and kill the f Listen, Billy, as endearing as your colorful grasp of the English language is, if you keep using the C word with such frequency, I'm going to get desensitized to it. And while some other people in my life may not agree, I like my C word sensitivity exactly how it is. Congress, please. What a bunch of corrupt f***ing c***s they are. I know you think being from New Zealand makes you extra cool, but before you start insulting our sh government, maybe pay attention to how your own parliament treats Maori folks. The point is, all governments suck. Anyway, don't forget to vote. You're not the first person to call me a c***, Mr. Butcher. I'm starting to think it's like a badge of honor. 
Timid and dim where I come from, love. This is true. Or at least, I hope it's true. My English friend refuses to call me anything else, and I need this to be true. It might look bizarre to us, but this is the correct amount of digits for a UK-based mobile number, including the country code. So here's a sin for the poor real-world person whose number this is and the 25 missed calls I gave them, pretending to be Billy Butcher. We know someone who might know the full picture. Who was it? Like you said. We're gonna have to trust each other. She's talking about Vogelbaum, but why does it have to be kept a big secret? I mean, it's no secret he was the CSO for Vaude, and if Mallory told Senator Brain Blitzer who she's talking about, couldn't Congress just subpoena him? And more importantly, do I get any points for spelling subpoena correctly? Mom, I don't want a f***ing unicorn frappe. Not wanting a f***ing unicorn frappe? I mean, even out of sheer curiosity. I thought that God was sending me on a mission. I gave my whole life to nothing. Yeah, because screw any of the people you saved over the years. Ten count for shit if God wasn't watching all along and keeping tally. You called them? Y yeah, about an hour ago. Why? Mom, th they could be looking for them. Exactly. Who knows? They could even be holding off their entrance until this sentence for maximum dramatic timing. <laughs> Man, I guess there's a pretty hard line between being bulletproof and being smacked in the face with a pole. Proof. You guys want to watch Deep Desert in the Blowhole? Questions I'm more likely to entertain include, would you like the cactus or sriracha enema? In what order would you prefer to have your fingernails removed? And, would you be interested in helping me catch a dolphin for a soup-inspired sex tape? Also, here's five sins for the hour I spent trying to force Dolph Lundgren's name into a dolphin-based parody title, but abandoned because I couldn't quite get it to, whoa, oh, oh, Dolph Lundgren's Dolphin Heat. <laughs> Damn it. You know, you don't need the discs. You can just download. Yeah, but then you always need an email or a credit card or something. And then there's the risk of downloading a virus and uh, or uh, other things my buddy said happened when they downloaded for a friend of a friend. <laughs> uh. What do you want to watch next? Uh, translucent, invisible c Wait, if it's invisible, then what's the point? Isn't the entire purpose of these videos to watch how the sausage is played? And if one of the partners is invisible, I'm just having trouble picturing how that would work. And believe me, I'm really trying. Big Black Noir. Oh, Starlight pulls an H-ray. I've titled enough sex tapes in my time to know that front is really missing out on some triple excellent opportunities here. You could have had A-Train getting railed, or The Deep vaught with his pants down, or Superpowered cunnilingus kind of sex pianal docious, even though the sex God, this isn't healthy, man. I'll say. Look, everyone, this is really hard to watch. I mean, what kind of sick scumbag would sit there and do nothing while this lamp is blocking at least 25% of this beautiful picture? Do you know I was a prodigy? Why? Did Paramount cancel you too? Well, there's gotta be something, right? Like a, like a secret entrance? No, there doesn't. My house doesn't have a secret entrance. It's not like the state of New York City planning department compels you to have a secret entrance in case of jailbreak. Maybe one or two. One or two? Why are there any? Come on, I mean, do you, you wanna be the cuck? Or do you wanna be the guy who f***s the wife? Wait, but in this colorful metaphor, isn't the wife in question Starlight? Also, the word cuck has been said so many times in this episode, it's done that thing where it's lost all meaning and it's just become a noise, and I barely understood what it meant to begin with. Cuck. 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 Damn the semantic insemination. Wait. No, 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 He hasn't got much time. Not my problem. That's yours, because you stayed with the c Have I ever asked you for anything? Ever. People who say this as if the absence of things they've previously requested of you has bought some kind of favor-based store credit to purchase the thing they want you to do now. Ma'am, this is not Macy's. You step one inch closer, and I'll kill you quicker than that f***ing arse cancer. Depending on what area of the arse he's specifically referring to, the five-year survival rate is between 80 to 90 percent. So while true, this really isn't much of a flex, Billy. I just want to talk. Two minutes. Butcher forgets to set a timer and ends up wasting an additional 30 seconds of my life. This gentleman in black is clearly a security detail of some kind, and at a superhero rally, that must feel about as redundant as a Rick and Morty Sins video. I'm never, ever gonna push that hard again, okay? Sometimes, Homelander, it's less about how hard you parent them and more about the height from which you choose to parent them from. You have superpowers, mm -hmm. huh? That makes you very very special. Telling a child something they were born with makes them very, very special. That's how you wind up with a brat like Timmy in The Secret of Nim 2. <laughs> and trust me, you don't want to wind up with a Timmy. I just need time. <laughs> Wasting food. Life has always been hard, but I don't remember it being quite this crude. You do remember shoving explosives up Translucent's butthole, right? Gun? I'm seeing gun. This is very heartwarming, and I'm sure everyone will be fully supportive and not at all furious if the senator had been attacked while you were learning sign language. 
I brought you something just to make up for all the sh** to do to you. I can't work out if this is a genuine apology or if that goldfish did something to piss off A-Train and this is revenge. Me and this marathon used to sneak college girls in this way. Vaught Tower, home of the soups and no doubt a ton of dirty secrets, should be secured like f***ing Fort Knox and they walk in through a vent? At what point does a secret entrance become so f***ing obvious that it's relegated to just entrance? Also, you just passed right under a security camera, dude. Are you sure this is as sneaky as it used to be? I'm either still in the system or we're about to be swarmed by guards with AKs. Yay, finally some action. I mean, there's no way he's still in the system, so we're finally going to see some shooting and souping any sec- And boom, bitches! Why would he still be in the system? We're in the middle of practice, Leanne. Oh, you can thank me later, Bert. Oh, cool. Never thought we'd get to send the blind side. Well, here we go. Quick fire round. Movie spins two hours and nine minutes showing how difficult it is to be the white savior. Expecting me to care about football. This team is your family, Michael. Sandra Bullock is forced to say family more times than Dominic Toretto, and Warner Brothers really doesn't need another lawsuit right now. All these characters sound like they're being voiced by the same kid doing different voices. This Lego Sandra Bullock isn't even blonde. And finally, Ryan can join the ever-growing list of people who are making more money from the blind side than Michael Orr. So are you into any things that, you know, kids are into? Yeah. Like, uh, NBA 2K? PewDiePie? Wait, if PewDiePie exists in this universe, that probably means YouTube exists, which means maybe, just maybe, TV sins exist? Oh, sh**. I wonder if they're offended by all those sex tape jokes. Whoa! No, 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 please, please, I just wanna, I just, oh. Oh, never mind, it's just the deep. I'll show you, um, Dances with Wolves. Making anyone watch Dances with Wolves. I was raised the same way as him. You were kept in a cage behind glass, dude. This kid has his mom right next to him, full run of a huge house, and f***ing Legos. These are not even remotely the same environments. I know you want to flip the bird to Vogelbaum by driving through his grass, but you're not punishing him. You're punishing the poor lawn care guy who's going to have to repair that damage. And that guy probably hasn't committed nearly as many crimes against humanity as Vogelbaum. He loves stories about Davy Crockett. Teddy Roosevelt. Having one of your heroes be the fourth most important member of Mount Rushmore. So I went to work on him. Creating euphemisms for child abuse. The sheer volume of houseplants in this room alone. It's like he's expecting Poison Ivy to visit next and really wants to impress her. It ever occur to you, a pain you cause sorry bastards like me. Oh <laughs> really, Butcher? Your pain? Not the pain of Rebecca after being sexually assaulted or the hundreds of families that have suffered because of Homelander, but your pain. That's what Vogelbaum should really atone for. I can't remember the last time I had a good cup of cha. Assuming the quality of the cha before partaking in the cha, whatever cha is. They move my statue? He's right to be shocked. These assholes took his statue down before removing his access to the building. I just wanted to make my dad proud. Oh, for f**k's sake, how much family drama can we squeeze into one f**king episode? We've had Billy dealing with daddy issues, Lamplighter dealing with self-confidence issues and daddy issues, Homelander being daddy issues himself as a result of his daddy issues, Vogelbaum being Homelander's daddy issue, Frenchie learning to sign about his daddy issues, M.M. completely avoiding his kids' daddy issues, and Huey comforting Lamplighter by sharing his daddy issues. There are other types of issues! Whoever designed this room to make sure there are no power sources in it got royally f***ed by the health and safety guy who installed this alarm light at the last minute. Lampy said that this cell is surrounded by six feet of steel, and that's made fairly redundant if a door-sized amount of said cell is less than six inches of steel. Huey has enough time to watch a man burst into flames, ponder it for a few seconds, and disconnect his hand before any security arrives. Where are the guards? Thank you, man. Swearing at a corpse. I need his hand. <laughs> Show man, it's f***ed up, but how do you not laugh at that? How the f*** did Black Noir know that she'd escaped and would decide to come to the 99th floor? Speaking of which, why the f*** is she coming up to the 99th floor? Considering we know that 42D is surrounded by six feet of steel, I think it's safe to say it's either on the ground floor or maybe even underground. So if Starlight's looking for her mother as a priority, why'd she go all the f***ing way up to floor 99 to then come all the way back down to where the holding cells are? This fire alarm's been going off for a while now, so what's the procedure when it comes to evacuating Vought's prisoners in the event of a fire? And if the answer is let them burn, why have a f***ing alarm inside their cell? No, don't touch me, I hate you! Forever and always, kids. Going through other people's fun time stashes. Mom. 
No, I'm afraid Hugh let our star witness burn himself to death. What? If Lamplighter was determined to self Emily, what the f could Huey have done about it, whether they were a Vaught or not? Dribble on him? Encourage him to be less flammable with a touching anecdote? I just thought, when you saw how helpless he is now, you'd let it go. The daddy issues are still going? What's the guy gotta do to get some action around here? You have five minutes to make your opening. <laughs> nope, nope, too much, far too much. Forget I said anything. Back to the family drama. It's actually quite refreshing. Where his partner was dressed as a deer that eagle hunted and mounted. What? You know the old saying, protesteth too much doth he who doth fornicate with fish. That old testament, man, full of wisdom. Gotcha. Premature Cella Berkshire Huntabration. It took you this long to cut the feed. What the f do we do now? Stare off into the middle distance as angrily as possible, apparently. No, angrier. Angrier. Slight lip wobble. Good, good. Now imagine never getting a chance to make Star Trek 4 and boom, there we go. 10 seconds of trying and nearly succeeding at making me vomit up my Gruyere puffs. I'm Sheriff Ed Flanagan. Having to live your life with the same name as a former player for the Detroit Lions. I mean, it's the f***ing Detroit Lions. And I guess some of you would say, but he also played for the Chargers, and that actually makes your case worse. Your teacher should have an authorized firearm. We all should know that adding crossfire to any situation rarely makes it safer, but I expected this show to also point out that bullets ricocheting off of a soup is a very real and lethal possibility here. And wait for a hero. In the words of the late great Tina Turner, we don't need another hero. We don't need to know the way home. All we want is a life beyond the Thunderdome. If Vought took a sh in the middle of Fifth Avenue, they'd throw a ticker tape parade. Gross. Ticker tape doesn't give you nearly enough coverage for proper wiping. The anxious boy? Really? With the moist handshake? Using more. More. I can't even say it. Just don't use that word. You know, I always say, why do this crazy? Frenchie has literally never said that once before now. Smile. This is good news. Telling someone to smile. Just f***ing stop doing that. Everyone! Never gonna hurt you. Yeah, but Huey, you could have gotten yourself killed. I mean, after the way that I treated you, you had every reason to give up on me. Huey lied and essentially used Starlight as bait. She had every f***ing right to treat him like shit after finding that out. Is this show really trying to make it out like Starlight was the one in the wrong year? Because that is f***. I could split that sh like dry firewood. My boner is nervous, but intrigued. Fresh gum? No, thank you. Awful stuff. Stan would be the world's foremost drink tester at TV since... Jean Bambert, simple, but it's the ingredients, you know? Why is one of the ingredients of your butter and ham sandwich a string? I'm certain that will get stuck in your teeth. Diet Coke with lime, right? Yeah. We've heard a lot about you. You've heard about her beverage of choice? It doesn't strike me as something Butcher would have brought up in conversation. I would feel lonely too if I was cooped up all day by myself in this West Elm Death Star. Saying this when you damn well know not a single item in this room has been appropriately accented with a kyber crystal. Management at this kid's restaurant either never took down this poster of the deep or they rushed to put it back up. Regardless, supporting the deep always gets you a sin. Welcome to Planet Vaught. Would you like to try our new Brave Mave Rainbow Veggie Burger? Welcoming someone and then offering them a f***ing veggie burger. My mom's not dead. She's not? Oh, it's just you never mentioned her, so... She left when I was six. That's where Billy Joel comes from. I think the lesson here is f moms who ditch their families and moms that turn their kids into Billy Joel fans. But it's not about me. I can't lash out like some raging entitled maniac. That's a white man's luxury. Damn. Giancarlo Esposito is a presence to behold, and the writers have given him enough runway to land this character with a jumbo jet full of nuance. If he keeps trying to be the villain to end all villains, I'm going to keep taking sins off. And what makes you think that you can control that racist bitch? Look, I've got to get across town. Avoiding the question about the racist lady. He doesn't want to talk. So go in anyway. Telling someone how to handle their own potentially super villainy child. You are the strongest man in the world and you're scared of a little boy. Thinking that giving a child space when he or she wants to be left alone is the same as being frightened of said child. I love you. It is truly touching to see Homelander trying to be a good father, but I do not like being touched by Homelander. I got him in a cabin up in Rochester. A fate worse than death. But we definitely found f all. I'm not sure I'm using that term properly. And all the time you spent with Billy, this couldn't possibly be the first time he said f all. Next to you, he's going to be telling us he doesn't know what Bob's your uncle means. This is a jackpot. Well done, you two. This will do nicely. 
Butcher doesn't say Bob's your uncle. Not sure I'm using that term properly. Lick my big black balls, Butcher. Sorry, Becca. If I know him, ma'am, this is probably in the interest of hygiene and cleanliness, which makes it weirder that he had to bring race into it. I think this episode wants us to know they have guns. They make this email look like a malware or phishing scam, and it works. Someone at the news actually opened it up instead of flagging it as spam and taking it down to the dungeon to feed the mailer demon. You remember the range of Fort Bragg? I was a better shot than you. Making me think this is the reason they call it Fort Bragg. Look, Becca. You ain't coming with us. Characters told they can't come, but they end up talking their way into coming, and then they are dramatically killed. Cliché. Because there's one thing I know, is that you can take care of yourself. So when the time comes, you'll know what to do. This bullshit pseudo-inspirational speech works. Of course I dance. What is the point of life without dancing? Overrating how important dancing skills are. And am I sinning this because I have two left feet and zero rhythm? Yes. Yes, I am. Stormfront may be 100 years old. What's even more incredible, we have authenticated photos showing Stormfront with Nazi high command. Being so hyper-focused on a woman's age that you are shocked that you're shocked to find out she is also a Nazi. Can't believe I actually have to say this this day and age, but Nazis are bad. Twitter, for the last nine years, somehow makes its way into this episode. I appreciate the sentiment, but pretty sure running Stormfront over with a car would only make her angrier. You need to find something to rhyme with decapitation or internal organ combustion. No! If they were so close that getting to Homelander's cabin was just a quick drive down the road, how did he not hear them? They weren't being that quiet and there was no one else around. Their voices should stand out among the sound of trees. Who's that? That's my husband. Cracking open this bag of worms when they have zero time for it. What the hell are they doing back here? The plan just changed. Damn, you're the only one I trust with him. Butcher comes back here because he changed his mind about giving Ryan to Edgar. But aside from telling M.M. about it, why was it even necessary for him to come back after having a change of heart? He could have continued driving Ryan and Becca to wherever Mallory is himself. All this does is waste time and allow Stormfront and Homelander more time to catch on to what's happening. Not to mention that Billy does f*** all to help anyone after this. Keeping your guns aimed at someone who bullets do not affect, even a little. You can't have a c like me around that kid. They don't have time for this, and the episode knows it. We are out of time. Becca will die because of a lack of hustle. M.M. and Becca survive this. Seatbelts ain't that good, and it doesn't look like a single airbag even went off. I'm not a gun person, Frenchie, but even I know it's hard to get a shot off when the cylinder's open. I did, however, have to Google to find out it was even called a cylinder, so... <sighs> Bringing a gun to a Palpatine hands fight. Stormfront could kill all three of them with a flick of her wrist, but instead chooses to just stun them because they are the main characters. Hey, Kraut. More punchy, punchy action between two people with probably equal superhero powers. You know how f***ing much we love that around here. Why is Starlight punching and kicking instead of Starlighting? I honestly no longer know what is going on in this fight. Holler at me when someone wins. I'm gonna go play Mike Tyson's punch out in the meantime. At least when I beat Glass Joe, I f***ing understand how it happened. Butcher continues to survive season finales where people want to and have every opportunity to kill him, but just don't. We love you, Ryan. <laughs> Stormfront's eye doesn't even try against this knife, even though bullets bounce off of her body. What are the rules here? Killer kids. Stop. What are you doing here? He's not wrong. It is pretty surprising that she has shown up just in time twice in this episode, and we have no idea how she keeps knowing where everyone is. Even if you're pretty sure Maeve's threat worked, maybe don't walk this close to the psychotic killer when you've got an entire wooded area to walk through. Gentlemen, thank you for coming. Always happy to see you, sir. Having your nose this far up someone's ass without their explicit consent. If Billy Butcher can do the right thing, then... There's gotta be some kind of higher power. Basing your spiritual beliefs on the daily activities of Billy Butcher. I think it's time I go off, stand on my own two feet for once. This he's leaving her fake out is super sinnable. We'll just be friends then. Oh, oh God, no. And skippable. Giving someone a trinket of their dead parental and telling them it means said dead parental will always be with them, cliche. Now, remember what I told you. Don't be a c Life lessons. Finally, we get to see the identity of the secret scanner, and it's, um, Victoria, is it? Too many characters. 
Also, this It Was Victoria All Along twist isn't accompanied by a fun song. Hugh Campbell. Damn, I thought this finale was done finaleing when Homelander finaleed it all over the city, but it just won't finale. You can give me a job. Never thought the second season would end on something as bland as Huey asking for a job from a newly appointed congresswoman, but here we are. I'm crushing your head. Before he left, Translucent said to me, almost as if he knew something was gonna happen, he said, hey, Homelander, tell my son Maverick that I love him. Here lies a great man, a great man, father! Who's gonna be our captain? I'm the captain now. How about this one? How does it make you feel? Anyone? 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 The Great Depression. Look at me. From now on, you are mine. You called him. We need a real captain. I'm the captain now. Look, I just want my kid to be normal. You want to do something for Dash? Then let him actually compete. Let him go out for sports. I will not be made the enemy here. You know why we can't do that. Because it'd be great! Look at us. I know who I am. Why do I need you to tell me? Why do I need to pretend? Who's Prince's guitar from Purple Rain? I know, legit, right? But look at your face, it was worth it. <sighs> Article 7, Section 3 allows for a citizen filibuster. No, 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 it's not f***ing happening, it's not f***ing real. <sighs> Let the filibustering begin. These boots are good boots. Homelander and I went to this Oscar party for 12 years a slave. There's this producer, he swapped place cards so he could sit next to me. And he chatted me up all night. Two days later, there's a fire in his office. They found his head in one room and his torso in another. What are you saying? Did you see Green Book? Can I tell you a secret, man to man? I think you might be a songwriter. You complete me. All to get the cash for my braces, which he then blew at the $5 table at Circus Circus. That'll plan. Lisa needs braces. Hey, uh, hey, Annie, it's me again. I just got out of a six-year relationship, okay? That should help explain why I'm acting so weird. Us, seven. Three minutes to the biggest battle of our professional lives. Come on. Come on. I am not a whale. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. F***ing yellow bastard. I hate Illinois Nazis. Though it is important to acknowledge... How can you watch this garbage? It wasn't your fault. It's not your fault. Did I ever tell you about my recurring dream? Where I'm being chased by a giant Listerine bottle. We can't have anonymous skull-exploding assassins walking around. It's annoying. It gets everywhere. F***ing terrorist was my safe, not hers. Mine? Well, s***, I f***ing love fat kids. Do you even hear yourself? My father was a drinker and a fiend. It's been 48 years. It's been 84 years. Let me tell you right now, it won't work. Well, if you were me, then I'd be you. And I'd use your body to get to the top. It's Ryan that I care about, not us. Yeah, and then what? And then Vought raises him without a mother, right? Then we have Homelander all over again, then there's two fucking assholes in this world. We could disappear, all right? Just start again, start a new family. Give me back my son! Kimiko, look at me. Look at me. I'm the captain now. Hey, train, you're out. Out of what? Or out of beer! I really wish you had cleared this with me before you went over there. This is your fault. You lie me f You sh the money bed, my friend. Hello, hello. Do you want to die tonight, Cece? What are you watching? A show called Eat My Dick. Oh, I'd watch that. But how are you going to get through all of them? Don't worry. She's got him. You've been eye fing me like a lovesick stand girl all day. Why is that? Ray, I didn't come here to jump your bones, okay? Wait, you think I'm a piece of shit? Does a bear extivizate in the forest? Remember me? My soulmate, you bitch. Oh boy, looks like we got ourselves a good old fashioned car chase. 
and his Axe body spray. Oh, I mean, that's how Vin Diesel must smell. He smells like tuna fish. Oh boy, looks like we got ourselves a good old bilingual blood fest. He gave me the first successful V injection. Don't be gross, Tammy. Oh boy, looks like we got ourselves a good old anus tart. Oh, hell no. Squeeze the c that gives up the next c and kill the f***ing with done. He swears a lot. Batter up! This room is green. I want to go back to the blue room. Big black noir. Oh, Starlight pulls an H. You are a sad, strange little man, and you have my pity. City Ordinance 47B prohibits the playing of any musical instrument in a public place for the purpose of commercial enterprise without a license. I'm Captain America, here to talk to you about one of the most valuable traits a soldier or student can have. Patience. Plan again? The plan is the plan. Last I checked, you're not 57 years old. So, come on, why is it always, always Billy Joel? How dare you judge me? And what makes you think that you can control that racist bitch? It's just a little thing I like to call the slasher. I like your friends. Especially Huey. He's sexy without knowing he's sexy. And that's yeah. really sexy. This is nothing compared to the raves I used to set up in Algiers. Of course I dance. I've been known to cut a little rug in my day. Hey, Kraut. See how feeders into your Nazi boss. There are no more barriers to cross. All I have in common with the uncontrollable and the insane, the vicious and the evil. All the mayhem I have caused, and my utter indifference toward it, I have now surpassed. What? I don't have a boner. Look at me. I'm the captain. As far as I'm concerned, that's America's ass.